everyone. Paul from High Tech Legion. And nowadays, everybody is posting something, whether it be selfies, whether it be Instagram pictures, whether it be videos of their dogs, or whether it be when they're gaming, they're live casting to Twitch or to other, other types of media like YouTube, etc. And that's no different here. Um, GPU Tweak, of course, which is by ASUS. And, of course, what we're reviewing is the Strix GTX 960. That is right, the brand new GTX 960 Strix by ASUS with the NVIDIA Maxwell processor in it. Why am I talking about posting videos? Well, guess what? If you purchase one of these cards, and I think it either starts on March 1st or it ends on March 1st or the 15th, you're going to get one free year of premium XSplit GameCaster. So go ahead and post all your frags, brag to your friends, show everything that you want up on Twitch. Now, of course, the main reason why we're here is to take a look at GPU Tweak and to overclock the ASUS Strix GTX 960. Now remember before we get into this, not all cards are the same everybody. You're not going to get a card that overclocks as well as your friends. Your friend might not get one as well as that overclocks as well as yours. All chips are different whether they've been the same or they're not it's going to depend so it's always the luck of the draw you might not get what I get I might not get what you get so remember that what we have to look at is features of a card how well you know what type of factory overclock etc look at everything as a whole not just at how well it's going to overclock all the time all right this happens to be a zero DB fan with direct CU2 so of course as you notice um, I have had this running for a while so we're up around the 40s idle we av I average on idle usually somewhere in the area of uh, 25 to 29 degrees Celsius on the card and since it's zero DB the fans are not spinning at this time so GPU tweak of course is an overclocking tool that ASUS makes to help you overclock your video card in this case again the Strix GTX 960 so let's go ahead and take a look at the interface on the left hand side we have the monitor the monitor shows you all your temperatures your GPU usage GPU clock speeds memory clocks etc you could turn specific ones on you could turn specific ones off so by clicking the settings button here okay there we go all right, by clicking the settings button, you'll see that for the specific card that you're on, what do you want to show? I only have one card in here, so we're just going to show one card. I've already shut a few of them off, the VID, the FB usage, the GPU fan duty, and the GPU fan RPMs, because I'm only, for me personally, I want to see what I have here, which is the power target status, the D GPU temperature, the usage, the clock, and the voltage. You could also change it to a full widget, a light widget, or even have no skin at all and just have the monitor up there. And via here, you could also log what's going on. Of course, the apply button applies your settings. The back button brings you back if you clicked apply by mistake and want to go back. And of course, default brings you to default where all of these will be checked. You can separate it from the, uh, from the actual uh, tuning uh, area itself if you wanted to and we'll go ahead and go back to the monitor now let's go ahead to the tuning area as you can see it's a nice interface it says GPU tweak on top it says 3d it's got your Strix GTX 9 960 series really nice looking you change skins if you'd like to we're on we're actually on the tuning screen right now uh, I happen to be on advanced so let's go ahead and put it on standard. If Once you boot this up, this is what you're going to see. So you're only going to see these three. Now, there's other ways that you could add more to the standard screen, and we'll get into that in a second. But let's actually go down on here, and we'll look at live update. This will actually check for updates once a week, once a month, once a day for you. So you could keep up to date with your uh, vBios, with you know your GPU tweak, etc. 
Um, you can change that and we'll see that in a second when I click on settings here. Of course in the main tab under settings we have the GPU tweak at startup. Do you want it to start up when you boot up your computer? Check it yes, check it no. Do you want it to minimize? Do you want the monitor to start up? Do you want a skin? Do you not want a skin? Would you like the tooltips? The tooltips are the little things that pop up to show you what you're doing. Under tune tab, this is where you could set your standard to have the different displays. So standard comes with GPU boost clock, memory clock, and fan speed. If you want standard to go to have the minimum minimum GPU voltage, max GPU voltage, power target, temp, frame rate, click all those and they'll show on the standard. The tune setting is basically your mouse sensitivity, your, your benchmark quick start, and of course your uh, keyboard sensitivity. I do not have that installed at this time. All right, live update live update again you can go here and you can set your settings for the live update once a month every day once a week once a day you know however you want to do it and then of course hotkeys once you enable hotkeys what you're going to be able to do is show the main window show the monitor window by clicking different uh, different keys you can set these yourself you don't have you don't have to go by what they are um, Change your profiles, change it to silent profile, change it to a gaming profile, adjust your core up and down, different types of things by using hotkeys. Next we'll go to GPU info and that's going to bring up ASUS GPU-Z and GPU-Z if you're, uh, if you're familiar with it is uh, Bitech Power Up and ASUS has their, uh, they made one for ASUS in the ROG colors and as you can see this is going to show you everything that you got. Your GPU, what is it? The GM206 Maxwell. Uh, what type of memory do you have? GDDR5, 2048 megabits, meg megabytes. What's your GPU clock speeds? What's your default clock speeds, etc. So we'll go ahead and close that. And then now we'll go back to tuning. And I personally like to go to advanced which we will do in a second but I want to show you something about this this card actually has three settings all right three different clock speeds it has a sil uh, silent mode it has an overclock mode and then it has a gaming mode right now we're in overclock mode you can see my clock my boost clock is 1317 you can see that my memory clock is 72 and my fan speed the fans actually off so we're not even cranking here so that's that's not uh that's not showing correctly but by clicking this the power saving the s you'll notice that the offset drops 50 uh it's got a minus 50 megahertz on the offset so now this is silent mode what this is basically doing is it's lowering the clock speed if you're just surfing the internet etc you don't need that jump it's going to it's going to keep it in silent the fans won't go on you'll be fine now remember, with this, the fans aren't going to go on till about 55, 60 degrees anyway. So most of the time you're going to be silent gaming if you're not playing something that demanding. If we click on default here, you'll notice that it goes to 1291. This is what they call gaming mode. So if you want to game and you don't want to go too, too high, it will bring you to 1291 on your boost clock. Now, of course, the O is overclock mode and that brings us to 1317. I do want to tell you something real quick. I'm using Camtasia to record this, so if the sound sucks, I'm sorry. I'm doing the best that I can here. But with Camtasia, I am not able to, and I've checked this with my other two reviewers, uh, we're not able to achieve the clock speeds that we normally did. I'm actually recording this for the fourth time. Uh, so what you might see in the review and what you're going to see here today is going to be a little bit different because Camtasia pulls a little bit out and I cannot achieve the same amount of megahertz that I would under normal gaming uh, gaming conditions. So in any case, what I'd like to do is go into advanced mode here and what advanced mode is going to do is bring up everything that I want. What do I want here? Now, you have everything from your GPU boost clock, all the way down to your frame rate target and your display refresh rate. You got a 144 megahertz monitor, you want it to refresh at 144, go ahead and set it in there. 
you can set your fan speed auto manual and user defined user defined basically you're gonna have this little diagram here and it's gonna go ahead and open it up and set the fan speeds so without further ado I hate that word we're gonna go ahead and start overclocking this card I'm gonna bring up units in heaven we're gonna run it at 19 by 10 in windowed mode I'll go ahead and click run once it starts the sounds gonna go on so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off so let's wait for it to start here there we go I will shut the sound off I will minimize this let's go ahead and move our window over and we'll go ahead and start tweaking alright so how do we attempt to start this what I usually do first is on on my lower end cards I only even though this will go to 110 I only go about 105 on the power target so that's what I'm gonna do now you're gonna hear some dings because I'm gonna use the keyboard here so bear with me on that one All right, I'm gonna set that to 105 next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start testing and I'm gonna bring this up 50 now I normally go up 50 on my on my first uh, you know attempt at, at any overclock so I'll go up in increments of 50 until I hit a wall and then I'll back it up by five each time until I find stable overclock that's what I do so I'll go ahead and hit 1367 I'll hit enter and apply and now you'll notice that on the left hand side we're at 1367 and it automatically bumped up to 1418 these cards because of the way that they run they run so cool you're actually gonna get extra boost out of it and you're gonna get that sustained boost out of it so you're looking at anywhere from 40 to 60 on a boost over what you might be setting your GPU your boost clock to now remember also that the power target and the GPU temp are locked you can unlock them by just clicking that button now they are unlocked and you could change any one you want to set your priority next thing we'll do is we'll go up another 50 so we'll get an offset of 100 which is 1417 as you can see on the left hand side right now it's showing at 1418 I'm gonna click apply but now you'll notice we're at 1467 from there I know what this card could do and as I said you're gonna get good chips you're gonna get bad chips I've got basically a run-of-the-mill chip in this one um, Asus doesn't cherry-pick their cards when they give them to us so of course we're getting lucky draw just like you are so I know that this card will only go up to about 1487 on my uh, on my overclock but because I'm using Camtasia and this is the third time I'm recording this because it crashed on me at 1487 we're gonna go ahead and try 1477 on this one but I'm also going to have to tweak my voltage I gotta add a little bit of extra voltage this is only a five phase power supply on this it's a six pin converter so we need to give it a little bit of extra juice so let's go ahead and set that offset to 20 I'll click apply on that and then let's go up another another 10 and hit apply so now you'll notice that we're going to be up to 1477 I'll click benchmark and I want you to watch those temperatures here for a couple minutes uh, you'll notice that we're only at 56 degrees and the fans have roughly just came on a couple minutes ago um, they usually kick on about 55 I think it's set in the uh, fan speed target for about 54 55 in there you can set it for 60 if you want um, we're at about uh, we're using let's go ahead and click auto make sure we're on auto here and I'll click apply so now we got out, got it on auto fan and we're at about you know 42 percent on our fan so let's go ahead and scroll this down on the left hand side and we'll take a look at what's going on now you'll notice that the power target uh, we're using about about 75 to 78 percent our memory usage is about 1300 out of the two gigs um, max was 1317 memory clock is at 7200 our GPU clock megahertz is 1477 and of course our voltage is 1212 GPU usage is 99 percent and we're still at 57 degrees Celsius 
I will go ahead over to here and we could go ahead and turn on the GPU now let's turn on the GPU RPMs click apply go back now we'll go down and we'll see how many RPMs are our fans are spinning at we're at about 1260-1271 not bad all right, we're about 11 frames uh, through the series of 26 here on Unigen, and as you can see, we're running very good. We have no artifact. We have no tearing. It's running very well. We're stable at this, at these current speeds. Now, as I said, I can go up to the uh, to the 14. 87 but with Camtasia on we've been having some problems I don't uh, we'll, we are going to work on that to uh, try to fix that problem for you but at the present time we've got to clock them back about 10 to 20 megahertz uh, when we're using it so I'm sorry that you can't see the max that I could actually get out of this but if you go and read the full review you will definitely be able to uh, to see that The reason why we use Unigen because it's one of the most demanding uh, benchmarks out there. I mean, I know we could use other things like Fermark to check it and things like that, but you know, why not use our true in-game? Uh, you know, I, I guess even though this, this is what you might call a semi-synthetic uh, benchmark, it still uses pure video. It uses tessellation. It uses everything that your card's going to do. It's just not going to look at pixels like a fur mark. I mean, the fur mark does hit it hard, don't get me wrong, but with uh, the manufacturers putting power limiters, you're not going to stress the card as as you used to years ago. It's going to throttle it back once fur mark hits those heavies. So you might not get uh you might not get the faults that you were getting years ago with it because it's going to throttle it back because it doesn't want the card to uh overachieve that power limit. We've only got about three more uh, scenes left here and you'll notice that we're still running smooth. Our temperature has not moved from 57 uh, degrees Celsius. We're still at a 99% uh, percent on the GPU. Voltage of course is stable at 1212, 1477 on that GPU clock, 72 megahertz uh, 7200 megahertz on the memory. We're using roughly 1188 to uh, 1200 and our power target status we're at 79 and our GPU fan is up to 1353. So as you can see we uh, finished the benchmark so we technically we have a stable overclock here. Um, of course again read the full review also remember everybody make sure you subscribe to this channel for more great uh, great videos like this hopefully uh, you do could deal with the sound a little bit today I appreciate it and remember it's High Tech Legion who sponsored this video for you that's right High Tech Legion www.hightechlegion.com make sure you visit us there for the full written review and you'll actually see the actual overclock that we got without using the Camtasia Make sure you follow us on Twitter, and make sure you like us on Facebook. I want to say thank you, everyone. Stay thirsty, my friends. Have a great day. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.